Hello friends, uh, today I would like to run a regression. As I was trying to run the regression, I knew that I have to go to data and choose data analysis. And I wanted to run a regression and I choose OK. And I selected this as my input range. What I was doing before is that I will make the change. I will make the selection. Let me, yeah, I make the selection right from the column here, and on this one, I made the selection also from the top. As soon as I fill out my label and uh, I wanted my output to appear here, for example, let me choose the place. I decided it will appear here, for example, and I proceeded and say okay i was getting this error regression minus function return error please check input range again so i knew that the ranges of data i was choosing was having issue i first of all check if i was having a blank data so let's check together i'll cancel all the process so I went, these are my four data, D, E, F, J. So I check this and there was no null. Normally the null will appear right on the top of the data, but there was nothing. And there was no way data like a number or a question mark. So I did the same research on this one and then there was nothing and so on and so forth. So I knew that the issue I was facing wasn't an issue of blank data, neither was it an issue of, let's say, a non-numeric um, data. For example, we are using the numeric data to run regression. So if you find yourself to have something like a, let's say, a question mark somewhere, or something like this, you might find it also with the same error, but that's not what we were facing. So I did the same verification on this variable. There was nothing as such. So what I noticed was that I needed to check the way I was making the choice in the range. So let's go once again and check and see. So we have to be sure that what we are choosing is really the data range. If I take this one, for example, you see I'm taking the entire colon, meaning I'm taking the whole spreadsheet. So I started being specific. So for the Y, I want to take the fixed cost. And I know I have to start from D1 to um, um, no, let me just start again. I don't want to lose the dots. Uh -huh. So I have to start from D1 and let's check and see where our data stop. 80, 82. D82. And I know that the second bunch of data will start from E1 up to G82. So with this one, I check if everything is in place and I say, okay. You can see we are not getting the error. Let's check. Let's go up. And here we have our regression coefficient. So I will... On the next video, I'm going to discuss on how to interpret the statistic for a regression on Excel. Thank you. Bye for now.